I feel like, and I've heard it recently, the comeback is often, like you mentioned, on the men. You know, the men are in that position. The men aren't leading. The men aren't earning. How, what can you do then, apart from start trying to address the problem? Um, well, it's a difficult issue to tackle because it's not going to be a quick fix, is it? Mm. Look, um, again, we have to assume responsibility as men, right? I mean, if you are, if you're claiming that you're a leader, well, guess what? Then you are the first one to be responsible, right? Like, let's look at Omar Khattab radiallahu anh. He was so strict on himself as being the Khalifa, right? Because he held himself respons responsible. And not to mention if anyone from the leaders that he would appoint would mess up how harsh he was with him, right? Personally, I believe if he would be around this time, and I know it's kind of like a cliche statement, but if you'll be around, you'll beat all of us up, you know? <laughs> like, really? I mean, he would be like, what? These are men? Like, what? What are you talking about? Right? So definitely we take responsibility. We have to. If we don't take responsibility, we're never going to fix this issue. Okay? We're never going to fix this problem. Uh, at the same time, women have their part and their responsibility. Right? So it is, it needs to be, you know, hand in hand, it has to go hand in hand. If people, if women themselves understand that, look, Yes, we men are having issues. We're struggling. But if you're fighting against us and you yourself don't realize the deception around you, then you're basically never going to get out of this. And let's look at the outcomes of this problem. We have weak men and we have very, I would say, not feminine women today. And the outcome is confused children, confused society, divorce, high divorce rate. See, the polarity has to be maintained. If men don't push, now we're gonna, now we're pushing now and we're being called misogynistic. You're being called all oh. kinds of names. That's fine. You have to resist the criticism. You have to stand your ground. That's where most men are not going to develop and they're not going to be able to do anything because the first person most likely who's going to be against you will be someone very close to you. Maybe even a loved one, maybe your wife, maybe your family. And this is what happened with the Prophet Sallallahu The first people to stand against him were his tribe and his family. And that's what we see from the NBA. You have to hold your position. Just because you come out and say something strong, then people question you and then you retract. That's it. You're done. You're done. No, you have to stand your ground. And if you stand your ground and you continue pushing forward, people have two choices. Either they'll go against you, continue going against you, or they'll fall in line. And we do see, because we've held the reins and we've held our position, we do see, even over the past two years, the amount of sisters that have messaged me in support and saying, Wallahi, I swear by Allah the Most High, saying stuff like, I hated you first, I really didn't like your content, but I just wanted to watch a bit more and a bit more, and I want to apologize because I totally agree with you now. They would say, I used to hate it. I used to, I, I would say, I never want a man like, I, I don't want my husband to listen to this guy ever or my future husband or anything like that. Mm. And I'll, what, what would I say? Oh, let me change my videos, you know? Oh, sorry, sister. You know, how many have done that? I just continue to do what I have to do. And after time, people have come and apologized and have said, look, you know, now I see what you mean. I understand because this happened over the two years. Or I met this, or I was supposed to marry this guy and he's the, he's a simp and he did this and he did that. And yes, we need it. I got mothers sending their children to our workshops mm -hmm. and coming and saying, take him and make him something different than my husband. I don't want him to be like my husband. Take him, make him an alpha man. They say, you know, like uh, the sisters in Malaysia, we're doing our camps there. They're coming and bringing our children at 5 a.m. in the morning at the bus and say, Make him a Muslim alpha man, whatever these people. And at that time, I was trying to, you know, people were trying to fire me and cancel me and all that because of the terms and all Muslim alpha and misogynism and all that. And the women were coming and saying, hey, man, we need this. Okay. Wake up. Enough is enough. We want to be women. You guys be men. Mm -hmm. So stand your ground, no matter what criticism is. And people will either fall in line, like many, many sisters today, many women are saying, yes, we want to fall in line. 
yes, we want to do it. Or they'll oppose you. And hey, that's, that's life. There's always going to be someone against you. There's always going to be something. Just bring it. Like, I don't know. Like, what are you scared of? Mm. Okay, go for it. 